I'm going to talk about the first slide. <laughs> Um, so somebody else uh, did a talk almost about that today, um, but it's not really the same. So yeah, I want to export data for science. Um, first about me, a few things. Um, I'm a developer, uh, also a student at TU Berlin, um, currently also employed at uh, JustWatch, doing SRE and Go there. Um, I love uh, working with uh, Go, Docker, Kubernetes, and uh, Prometheus. I'm also the creator of GoPath, with, which is like the most likely awesome password manager for teams. Yeah, so if you need anything like that, check it out. Um, so why do we need Stuxx to talk about that? Uh, first, what is Pluto? It's a planetary scale IMAP server that we are building as a research project at TU Berlin. Um, we want to synchronize, synchronize the mailbox state across uh, replicas worldwide. Um, we use CRDTs for that, so nice uh, job of uh, getting these into the alert manager. Really happy to see that. And uh, also, uh, we want to write a paper at the end. So, um, yeah, we run uh, Pluto on federated Kubernetes clusters in the EU and US. We got some credits uh, from Google, so thanks for, for supporting education, I guess. And um, also, we are running Kuba, uh, Prometheus on every single cluster uh, to actually know how fast we are consistent across the globe in, in these replicas. Um, so why Prometheus? Um, Pluto is written in Go, so I did it a couple of times. It's really easy to integrate the client, and we have uh, metrics. Also, we monitor the infrastructure there, and we have some real-time uh, Grafana dashboards. Um, so why not just Grafana, why Stux? Well, screenshots in a scientific paper aren't like that great. We want to have something that looks a bit more professional. Um, so, yep, that's basically why we why we are, uh, we are building Stux. And uh, yeah, Stux is written in Go, so uh, you can just go get it from GitHub. Uh, there are optional dependencies GNUplot and Matplotlib. And uh, I just talked to the query range uh, endpoint two, and uh, also uh, Stux is one of the moons of Pluto, so that's the connection there. Um, so as uh, the guy before today, uh, you can export it as uh, CVS files, really easy. Just run the query there, um, and yeah, you get the CVS files, do whatever you want, Excel, Google Spreadsheets. Um, also, GNU plot, to, to use that, uh, I actually generate GNU plot uh, files and um, also matplotlib, I generate that too. So I use Go to, to um, generate Python code um, because I don't want to write Python. Um, <laughs> so I should be connected to my Kubernetes cluster, which is my private one. But anyway, so I can just type six and then pipe the output I just write to standard out. Uh, can you already see that? Okay, good. Um, so you can now take a look, and there's the data. I also include some some header there with with the names and stuff. You can turn it off if you really need the data, and that's it. And also, I want to show the uh, matplotlib one. So that's something like that. You just like a subcommand, and then pass the query in there, and type that into a Python file. I could, you could also do that in standard output but and pipe that to Python, but whatever. And now we can simply run the Python file, and it will open uh, this graph. So, yeah. Um, there are a bunch of things that are, aren't like really ready yet, like the time and things. But anyway, um, yeah, you can simply go and export that as SVG or PDF and in, include it in uh, different different sources. So yeah, that's like the small demo. Um, also created some other like <coughs> advertisement for myself. <laughs> um, yeah, some, some other tool which you can actually use the help uh, strings that you use, uh, that you that you write, you can actually look at them and they aren't just thrown away. So that's really helpful there. 
And also at my workplace, uh, we, we are currently maintaining the Elasticsearch exporter. A colleague of mine wrote some really nice SQL exporter. And if you happen to run on DigitalOcean, I encourage you to look at my DigitalOcean exporter. It will tell you how much you're spending and things like that. So that's really nice for me privately not to spend too many cash. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, my website. Yeah, and thanks.